if you have been keeping up with this channel, you are probably familiar with the numerous videos I create centered around Android customization and home screen setups. Now recently, there has been a significant influx of comments requesting guidance on replicating the home screen setups featured in my videos. So to address this and assist you in navigating the intricacies of Android customization, I have prepared a comprehensive video. And in this tutorial, I will walk you through every step in meticulous detail, covering everything from setting up widgets to applying icons. Consider this video your go-to guide, especially if you're just venturing into the realm of Android customization and theming. And by the end of this tutorial, I can confidently assure you that you will have acquired the skill to become a master at theming your Android device. Also, as we go through this video, I'll be replicating this fantastic home screen by Emerald Essen to show you how it's done. So when you want to make your Android theme or set up your home screen, you have got four main things to consider. Custom launcher, icon pack, widgets and wallpapers. Now customizing your Android is kind of like personalizing your space. It's all about what you like and need. But here is the trick. When you're just getting started, it's super important to find the right inspiration. Think of it as taking your first steps into the world of making your Android truly yours. And that's where my Android setup videos comes in. And you can take inspiration from those setups created by talented Android customizers. Now let's delve into the intricacies of Android customization where home screen launcher plays a pivotal role. Consider the launcher as the backbone. It's the element that brings everything together, allowing you to mold your desired home screen layout. While default launchers are serviceable, they do come with limitations in terms of functionality and customization options. And this is where custom launcher steps in to offer a broader spectrum of possibilities. Now, whether you are a seasoned explorer in the realm of Android customization or a newcomer, I highly recommend you checking out Nova Launcher. It stands out as one of the best launchers available on the Google Play Store, known for its extensive customization features. With Nova Launcher, you gain the ability to tweak various aspects such as changing icon style, resizing them, adjusting the grid size, and more crucial elements for tailoring your Android experience. If you are eager to explore further launcher options, I have dedicated a video to showcase some of the best ones available. You can find the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. Now once you have got Nova Launcher installed, the next step is finding the perfect wallpaper to complement your setup. Now a wallpaper is like a canvas for your setup and if you don't get it right, you might end up creating an unpleasant looking setup. It's like the base for all your icons and widget on your home screen. So when you're choosing a wallpaper for your setup, remember two important things. First, go for a wallpaper that stands out against your icons and widgets. If your icons are light colored, try a darker wallpaper to create a cool contrast. Second, make sure the wallpaper matches the way you have organized your home screen. It should fit well with the layout of your icons and widgets, making everything look neat and tidy. So just keep these two simple tips in mind and you will have a setup that's both stylish and organized. Now this setup uses a wallpaper called Neon Scene from an app called Wallistic. But before you use it, let's do a quick cleanup. Remove all the icons, widgets and that search bar at the bottom. It's like clearing your desk before starting a fun project. Once your screen is nice and and tidy, go ahead and apply the neon scene wallpaper for a clean and stylish look. Now, here are my top three recommended wallpaper apps that I usually use in creating home screen setups. At first, we have Gizu Abstract Wallpapers, which is pretty awesome because it has a bunch of really cool abstract wallpapers that looks amazing on any screen and what makes it stand out are all the special features it offers. They have different categories of wallpapers like super sleek minimal ones and vibrant amulet designs, so you can find the perfect one for your home screen. But the fun doesn't stop there, you can also choose between light and dark modes, shift between daytime options and even decide if you want animated or still wallpapers. And let me tell you, the dynamic wallpaper on Gizu is really special. Another great wallpaper app is One for Wall, a revolutionary app that effortlessly transforms your screen into a mesmerizing visual masterpiece with a vast collection of stunning AI-generated and hand-edited wallpapers. With over 1000 plus free wallpapers, this app offers a diverse range of options to choose from. It also provides the option to edit your wallpaper on the go, like you can change the hues, saturation, even add a blur to your wallpaper which is quite handy. My last recommendation would be Phone Walls that stands out as an outstanding app catering to Android users seeking access to top-notch OEM stock wallpapers. Boasting an extensive collection of over 2300 wallpapers, the app provides a diverse range of visually appealing images. Spanning across 25 plus categories and brands, Phone Walls offer wallpapers from renowned smartphone OEMs such as Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, LG, Huawei, Xiaomi and much more. 
now let's move forward towards the icon pack. Adding a custom icon pack is like giving your Android device a personal touch effortlessly. It's the easiest and the best way to keep your home screen looking sleek. The cool thing is, there are thousands of icon packs waiting for you in the Play Store. Now applying an icon pack is a breeze. Simply head over to Nova Launcher setting, find the look and feel option and click on icon style. Now choose your favorite icon pack as default and you're good to go. In the home screen setting menu, you can tweak things even further. Adjust the icon size, toggle off the label for minimalistic vibe, just like the setup we are recreating. Notice those small center aligned icons with no app labels. It gives them a distinctive look. Also, don't forget to play around with the grid size to get that precise alignment for your icons. Easy, right? Now, if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed about picking the right icon pack, don't stress. I've got a whole video dedicated to showcasing the best ones. Just take a peek in the description box below for the link. It's a handy guide to help you find the perfect fit for your style. So to round off your Android home screen setup, you are going to need a widget pack and the KWGT widget app is the perfect tool for the job. These widgets are like the finishing touch. They not only showcase information and enhance the aesthetics of your home screen, but also comes with the added bonus of customization, allowing you to tailor them to your specific needs. The Play Store is packed with plethora of KWGT widgets, each offering a range of styles from minimalistic to vibrant. It's like having a buffet of options to choose from, ensuring that you can find the widget that perfectly complements your overall style. Now let's dive into the process of applying widgets to your home screen. It's simpler than you might think. First thing first, download the KWGT Widget Pro app onto your device along with the KWGT Widget Pack that catches your eye for your setup. Now head over to the widget option, locate custom widgets and effortlessly select any grid of your choice to place on the home screen. Now the fun part is that you can resize and position it wherever suits your style. Once you have got the grid in place, click on the blank widget and a menu will pop up. Here you can easily pick the widget you want to apply. Super straightforward, right? Now if you are feeling adventurous, you can even make further tweaks and alteration to the widgets. But if you are a newbie, keeping it as it is works perfectly fine. And voila! That's how you can craft an Android home screen setup in just few simple steps, transforming yourself into a pro at Android customization. I hope you found this tutorial useful and don't forget to share these videos with your geeky friends so that they too can master the art of customization and I'll catch you in the next video.